As deep concrete includes the design of biaxial slender concrete columns, but how do you actually design the column in the program? How do you enter the known information? How do you check the results? How do you calculate the slenderness effects? How do you specify all the loads? How do you optimize your design? And how do you print out the report? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to discuss the user interface in as deep concrete particularly the module of concrete column design let's get started when you open as deep concrete you see the project manager where you can see the modules including the package it includes concrete columns concrete beams and includes concrete or masonry bearing walls to create a calculation just click on any of the buttons at the, at the left in this case, we're going to create a concrete column calculation, assign a name, and the calculation has been added to the tree. Double click on the node on the tree, and this is the template of the concrete column design in ASDIP Concrete. The left pane is dedicated to the input of the information that you know. The right pane is dedicated to the results. So here you can enter the information and here you, you see the results and optimize your design. You can model two types of columns according to the shape of the section, rectangular column or circular column. In the geometry tab, you enter all the dimensions of the column, column width and column height, and also you specify the reinforcement of the column, the longitudinal rebars, the rebar sizes, also, you specify how many rebars at the top and bottom and how many rebars at the sides, at the left and at the right. Here you specify the size of the ties and the spacing and finally the concrete cover. Here at the bottom of the page, you specify the column length and the effective length factors in both directions. Here the program gives you some uh, typical values for different support conditions. And finally, the lateral stability, if the column is sway or non-sway. In other words, if the column belongs to the lateral resistance system or, or not. With this information about the geometry of the column, the program is able to generate the interaction diagram. If we go to the diagrams tab, you can see the interaction diagram in 2D and in 3D. We go to the glance tab. You can see a summary of the results in just one page with interaction diagram main points. Here we can see the amplified factor loads per load combinations due to the slenderness effects and finally the column strength per load combination as well. So you can see here immediately if something is failing or if everything is passing. In this case, everything is passing in this example. If not, you can see immediately where the deficiency is and correct it. If we go to the materials tab, here you specify the material properties for concrete and for reinforcing steel. The program accepts two types of stress strain relationship for concrete, either Hongestad, which is this parabolic curve, or the Whitney, which is the simplified uh, block. For the reinforcing steel, the program accepts also two stress strain relationships, either the elastoplastic, which is the bilinear relationship, or considering the strain hardening portion of the curve. Here you specify the concrete F prime C and the maximum uh, compression strain limit, and finally the concrete density. For the reinforcing steel, you specify the FY. If we go to the loads tab, here at the top you can specify if the column is biaxial. For example, if it's biaxial, the, the program generates the 3D interaction diagram. If it's not biaxial, just uncheck this box and the program generates the 2D interaction diagram only. You can enter two types of loads. The first type is pre-combined loads, which uh, probably come from from another software and that those loads are already combined so you don't enter any uh, load factors they are already combined somewhere else so you enter axial loads and uh, bending moments on top and bottom for gravity and lateral in both directions 
or you can specify a set of load cases, you know, dead, live, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic. And in this case, the program combines these load cases per load combinations. If we click on the load combination table, the program accepts the ASS 705 load combinations or the ASS 710 or 16 load combinations. Inclusive, you can define your own load combinations, uh, custom load combinations, and save your file for future use. Once you select the load combination you are interested in, just click on OK, and these load factors are applied to these load cases. Once the loads are defined, the program shows graphically the loads in the interaction diagram. So you can see immediately if they fall inside the usable area in the interaction diagram or not. Here at the bottom, you specify the second order uh, moments due to the slenderness effects. If these loads come from a second order analysis, then these loads don't need any further magnification. You can use them the loads the way they are. But if the loads are from a, from a first order analysis, they need to be magnified per the moment magnification method in ACI. The software magnifies the moments. If you click on the show parameters, you can see in this table the load combinations and all the factors involved in the analysis. This is the magnification factor. And these are the magnified moments that we use in the program. This is for X and this is for, for Y, so in biaxial columns. When you click OK, all these moments are already magnified. These magnified moments are reflected in this table here. And if you go to the condensed tab, these are the unfactored loads. And these are the magnified moments according to the described procedure. Here the program shows the interaction diagram, the most important points in the interaction. And at the bottom, the column strength per load combination, comparing the magnified moments versus the capacity moments in the, in the column. If we go to the detail tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculation, step by step, also with references to the ACI code. Here are the amplified moments section, and this is the column strength section. Finally, you go to the diagram, you can see the interaction diagram here. This is the nominal interaction diagram, and this is the design interaction diagram. If you uncheck this box, you see only the design interaction diagram in larger scale, or both the nominal and the design interaction diagram. This box controls the display of the uh, splice regions, and this box controls uh, the loads. One feature in the program is that you can specify here the rotation angle for the interaction diagram. For example, if we say 30 degrees, we want to see the interaction for a 30 degrees rotation in the section. So this is a corresponding interaction diagram for 45 degrees. Could look like that. And if we rotate it 90 degrees, the program looks like that. Also, the biaxial interaction diagram you can rotate it with, with your mouse. So you can see graphically how this uh, capacity of the column is. Also for the design interaction diagram is the same. So you can see in, in 3D the surface corresponding to the capacity of this column. Finally, you go to the print preview. You can see the contents report. It's a pre-formatted document that includes all the information. And also you can see the detailed report with all the calculations and the images as well. So you can see how easy and how fast it is to design a concrete column in as deep concrete. You can save a lot of time and effort by using this tool. 
With this, we conclude the presentation of this overview of the user interface of the concrete column design module in ASDIP Concrete. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you very much for your attention.